That's one, that's two, that's three, and that's four. Today, we are going to be using Arctovish Hail on the UU ladder on Pokemon Showdown, and you might know Hail from OU as being really, really good. However, in UU, Arctozolt is banned, and Arctozolt is what made OU Hail good. So we're going to try and substitute Arctobish Hail instead and see if it's just as good. And shoutouts to Celebi for making the UU team. I stole it from the forums over here, so shoutouts to them. So let's see right now. There is a pretty interesting team. He does have Skarmory, which could be annoying, but I think if we can get Abomasnow in a good position, we can start spamming Ficious Rend and then Triple Axel and we should be in a good position. Azumarill could win, but that Tentacruel and Hydreigon are both annoying. Even Como could actually be really good this game. This might be Scarf Hydreigon, I'm just going to lead with Frostlass here. It leads Skarm, we can taunt right now, and I think we're going to be able to get our hazards up. If we can get our hazards up, this is going to be a really fun game right now. He goes to Swampert, we taunt. Let's go and get a spike up right now. High horsepower, disabled, good. Let's spike again, and hopefully we can get a Destiny Bond off. I don't think he'll let me do it, but if we can do it, yeah, he don't, I don't think he'll let me do it. He'll go to Hydreigon now. Yeah, this is Scarf Hydreigon. Should I preserve Frostlass and go to Azumarill here? That's an interesting decision. I think I might do it. Yeah, flamethrower. We get burnt. That's unfortunate. Let's just knock off here, remove an item. Yeah, that's unfortunate. He goes to Tentacruel, which I'm fine with because we can go Frostlass now. Yeah, we block the spin. We Destiny Bond here. He goes Hydreigon, but he can't really do anything. So let's get a spike up. And Hydreigon is going to be a key uh, piece to him. So he can't let it get beaten down. He goes to Bulu. We can Icy Wind right now. He goes to Tentacruel, and he is really struggling versus the Frostlass right now. We can Destiny Bond here. Yeah, and knocks off. We remove the Hazard Control. So now my guess is he'll go to Hydreigon here. Let's go to Obama Snow. He goes to Heracross. Good play from him. We have choices right now. Do we go to Azumarill? I kind of want Azumarill for Hydreigon. Let's go to Azumarill. Close combat. Let's throw off a player off here. He goes to Skarm. Is it Rocky Helmet? No. I don't think this has Defog, right? Let's go to Sand Slash. Oh no, no, this is Body Press, right? Oh no, no. This has Body Press. I shouldn't have gone to Sand Slash here. Arctovish. See, the problem is that Hydreigon hits 480 speed, right? So Arctovish is in fact slower. So I made a mistake by going Sand Slash Alola here. Let's go to Como. Yeah, it does have Body Press. Um. Let's see if we can't flamethrower this right now. There we go, 66 damage, whirlwind, okay. And, okay, this, act, this worked out really well, okay. This did work out really well. He goes to Swampert now. I do think I should switch out here. Let's go to Abomasnow on a Stealth Rock, okay. Now, this should be a free Blizzard or a free Giga Drain. See, the thing is, I don't think he would stay in, right? There's no way he stays in. Let's Blizzard. Okay, maybe he does stay in. 37 is still good ship. Yeah, the thing is we put it into range of dying to Sand Slash Alola. So we're pretty much fine right now. We just have to sacrifice and then come back to win with Sand Slash Alola. The freeze didn't matter too much. He does forfeit, yep. All right, we get a pretty interesting team with Reggie Alecki. And Reggie Alecki's thing is that it's really fast. So it's actually faster than Sand Slash Alola, which is annoying. Let's go to Frostlass right now, and it'll be tricky to play around that Reggie Alecki right now. We could potentially do well with Azumarill, but Como might be a problem for Azumarill, depending on the set, because it can resist Aqua Jet. Let's see what he does right now. All right, he leads with Reggie Alecki. Now, I'm kind of, I don't know what to do. I think we should Destiny Bond. Okay, that's such a weird move. Why would you do that? Okay, um, let's Spike here. And is it choice locked? I have no idea what's going on. I think no matter what, getting a spike up is our best play. But I'm really confused by the Reggie like he said. I don't even know if it's choice specs or not. This matchup will be tricky. Uh, but I do have Abomasnow and Como to resist the attacks, right? Alternatively, if I can get a rapid spin off with Sans Lash Alola, I'll also be in good position. So it's going to be about a maneuvering game right now. Okay, okay. We remove the Reggie Alecki. Now, normally, I really want Hazards up, but this is a worthy trade right now. So, let's go to Abomasnow, get the Hail up. He goes to Exodrill. We can go to Arctovish, I think, right? There's no way... Yeah, let's go to Arctovish here. Stealth Rock and let the games begin. Ficious Red is going to hit really hard. There we go, that's one. What is he going to go to now? Slowbro Galar, there's no way this lives a hit. Okay. Okay, so it does... 
50. Oh, oh, because of the quick draw. Don't do it again, please. Okay, yeah, there we go. This is too easy sometimes. The hail is really powerful. He goes to Como. Should we preserve Arctovish or not, right? We can go to Azumarill pretty safely, right? I think I just want damage and I'll finish with Sand Slash, right? Fishes Rend, 53. Drain Punch. Yeah, that's fine. Let's go to Sand Slash Alola and this sh thing should fall apart pretty quickly right now. Nothing is really going to take the hits well. One, two, three. There we go. Yeah, nothing is really going to take the hit well. This probably has Flamethrower, right? This could be that Meteor Beam set, right? Sh I should be scared of that, shouldn't I? Um, well... Oh, this runs Psychic too, right? He can probably sweep me with Psychic, right? Let's go to Como, right? Let's go to Como on a Flamethrower. On an Earthquake, okay. And let's throw off a Flamethrower here. 50, okay. Oh no, oh no. Okay, see, we're not in complete trouble because uh, Sand Slash Alola does outspeed. Yeah, we just have to sacrifice here, yeah. Yeah, this is fine. Yeah, this is totally fine because we do outspeed. That's Blizzard right now. Yeah, there we go. Okay, this is easy. Okay, yeah, he does forfeit. Okay, all right, we get a game. He does have a Hatterene, which is going to be annoying for Frost Slash to the point where I don't think it's even worth leading with it. I could lead Obama Snow immediately to get the hail up. I think I'll do that. He leads me and Shao. I'm going to go to Frostlass, and yeah, that that Hatterene is going to be a big problem for my uh, Frostlass right now. I think my main form of attack will be getting Arctovish into good positions right now. He does have a Galistapod, which is going to be annoying, but I think if I can get into good position with Arctovish, I should be in good shape right now. I'll have to figure out a way to beat the Galistapod though. Okay, we get this going. Let's go to Arctovish on the Hatterene play right now. I think he will go Hatterene on a spike, for example, right? There we go. Let's go, Fisher's Rend. Let's see if Galissapod takes a lot of damage. It does have good bulk, so I'm not optimistic, but I think we should be doing a lot. He goes to Swampert, that's definitely the bad decision right there. He sacrifices Swampert, okay. He goes to Miancho now. Oh, this outspeeds, doesn't it? Choice Scarf, right? Let's go to Frostlass again. On a knockoff, we do hold on. Uh, we have to make a decision. Do we sacrifice right now? See, I don't want to sacrifice because I need a fighting type immunity. So I don't want to sacrifice right now. But at the same time, do I have another option? I could go Azumarill maybe. Or I could sacrifice and try and set up with Azumarill. That's also an option right now. I could go to Como. Um, I don't think Como is the right play, is it? Obama Snow, is it the right play? Sand Slash or Alola? I don't need my leftovers on Sand Slash, do I? Yeah, I don't need my leftovers. Let's go to Sand Slash here. Let's triple Axel. He should be going to Galissapod right now. Yeah, he definitely is going to... Wait, if I know he's going to Galissapod, should I have predicted it? Okay, well, I missed the attack anyway, but I could... Rapid Spin, maybe, and then go to Como. Um... Yeah, let's just Rapid Spin here. 10 only, okay. He uses Liquidation, we faint. Uh, now let's, let's clang right now. Let's go for it. I think we should be fine. Scarf Hydreigon is so annoying, to be honest, but it does give us a setup opportunity with, yeah. So he goes to Togekiss, we can Boom Burst now. And 65 only. Thunder Wave 2, yikes. Air Slash 2, don't flinch me, please. Nice, that's really good. Really good, really lucky, too, to go through the flinch and the para, but we'll take it. Let's Boom Burst again. Oh no, what is he doing? Please go to hat. Go to hat. Let me, let me, Lair. Oh, 77 only. That's weak. We do outspeed though. Let's boom burst again. Yeah, we got lucky versus a Togue, but then he keeps misplaying. I don't know what he's doing. Let's boom burst now. And I think Azumarill should win the game right now. He uses close combat, but we can just go to Frostlass right now. And Destiny Bond, right? He goes to Hydreigon. Now he's kind of trapped, right? He can't really attack me. Let's get a spike up right now. Little bit tricky situation. Do I go to Obama Snow on the first impression? I don't, right? Yeah, I surely don't do that. Yeah, let's just uh, taunt here. And yeah, there's no way. Okay, so he goes to Hydreigon now. So this tells me it doesn't have Aqua Jet. It doesn't have first impression, maybe? I'm not sure. Okay, U turn, we get the kill. Now we can go to Obama Snow. He goes to Galissapod. I don't think it has first impression. 
or it does have first impression, okay? But either way, we can go to Arctovish right now, and Fisher Thren should be doing a lot. There we go, and Azumarill will beat Golisopod, so we're in good shape right now. Fisher Thren does 44 Leech Life. That's Banded. That's Banded Leech Life. But yeah, we're gonna finish him off. Let's go. Alright, we get another game where versus a stall team. Okay, this is going to be fun. I think Arctovish would struggle versus Tangrowth, right? But if I can get Hazards up, I'm good. Como probably struggles versus Chansey. Azumarill is a match winner. Yeah, Azumarill is going to win the game, right? I probably have to remove a Rocky Helmet on Tangrowth, but Azumarill could win the game. It depends on that Weezing set too. If it's really fast, I could be in trouble, so I have to be careful about Weezing as well. But first things first, let's go ahead and get our Hazards up right now. He leads with Extra Drill. I'm going to Taunt here, prevent a Toxic. Oh no no, that... Is this a bad decision? This was a bad decision, but let's Destiny Bond right now. He goes to Mandibuzz. We can Spike here. Yeah, okay. He uses Defog. We can keep spiking though, we have enough PP to do it. Sand Slash Alola, we can SD immediately, right? But we, we risk running into a foul play. Arctovish. Okay, this is tough. This is definitely a tough decision right now. I could just immediately go Arctovish, right? Yeah, I could do this. Fishes right now, we should be doing a lot of damage. And I'm willing to trade damage for a Defog, because I want damage on Mandibuzz. He should go Tangrowth, or maybe he won't go Tangrowth. Okay, I'm taking that. I'll take that. Now he goes to Tangrowth. Spike damage. Fisher Thren 30 only. Rocky Helmet. This was expected. But now we can go to Obama Snow. And should we Veil or Double Switch right now? Blizzard is attractive. Blizzard is very attractive, in fact. Yeah, let's go ahead and hit him with the Blizzard. 38 only, this is specially defensive, it's probably going to rapid spin right now. But I am fine with that because we're getting damage on Mandibuzz, we're getting damage on Extra Drill, I'm fine with it right now. And we don't have knockoff. The original team had knockoff, but I made it rapid spin on Sand Slash. So that Rocky Helmet on Tangrowth is going to be there to stay. So it'll be a little tricky, but I think we should- he uses rapid spin, okay? We do 38, let's Giga Drain here. I don't want to Ice Shard because what if he goes to Sloking? And Iron Head won't knock me out, so I'm fine with just using Giga Drain right now. And the more I think about it, the more he doesn't really have anything for Sand Slash Alola. Because Sloking, all it can really do is hope for a Scald Burn. It doesn't really have anything more than that. This could be Thunder Wave Chansey or it could be Stealth Rock Chansey. My guess is it's Stealth Rock Chansey. Let's get a Veil up. It is Wish, okay. Yeah, I'm thinking it's Stealth Rock, Chansey. Let's just go Arctovish, actually. It's Seismic Toss, okay. Now, he's definitely going to go to Tangrowth here. Let's Icicle Crash. He wants to Rocky Helmet and Faint Me, right? Now, Wish, Soft Boiled, Seismic Toss, and what I'm concerned about is T-Wave. T-Wave can be really annoying for Sans Slash Alola, and I imagine a stall team like this does not run something like Hail Bell. Actually, it could be Heal Bell, right? But I was thinking that with Chansey being such a momentum suck, you want some sort of pressure with Thunder Wave or Toxic. So I don't necessarily want to commit to... Like, what I don't want to do is try and set up and with the Sand, sand Slash Alola, I don't want to set up with it and then have it actually be Thunder Wave Chansey and I lose the game. So he stays in there. Good for him. I mean, it was kind of a risky play, but I guess he did assume I wouldn't fish his friend into a Tangrowth, so good for him. And now he's playing with flinches. That was not a good decision from him to play with the flinch. Again, I don't want to have this be T-Wave and then go to Sand Slash Alola. Okay, so it's not T-Wave. Now he's opened himself up to Como as well. Um, Is this T-Wave? I don't really know if it's T-Wave or not. I think we'll just pick up the kill right now and then figure it out later right now. If he goes to Weezing, it could be Flamethrower. And something that could be interesting is this could be Scarf Weezing. I've seen that set before. Yeah, he goes to Sloking. Let's go to Obama Snow now. That could be Scarf Sloking. I mean, Scarf Weezing, right? We go to Obama Snow. He uses Future Sight. That is a complication. Giga Drain is pretty free, right? What is he going to go? He 38. Okay, that's weak. Obama Snow is weak. He uses Teleport now to Chansey. Let's Blizzard. 16. Man, we came so close too. Okay. Let's go get a Veil up. 
and I think now we have to go for it right now. If this is Thunder Wave, we could be in trouble, but I don't think we have another option. I wonder if he'll go to Slow King immediately right now. He doesn't really have options right now. If he has Thunder Wave, he clicks it right now. If he doesn't have Thunder Wave, he loses the game. I'm still scared of that being potentially Scarf Weezing. Okay, please no Thunder Wave. Okay, no Thunder Wave. Do we SD again? Um, or do we Rapid Spin? SD or Rapid Spin right now? Um, let's SD. Okay, and let's go for it. And what that means is, can he potentially kill me with Rocky Helmet? I do have leftovers on Sandflash, but can he potentially win the game with Rocky Helmet? Okay, two, three, and he forfeits. Okay, so he doesn't have a check right there. Let's go, we win the game. All right, we get a game, and this team is pretty weak to hail. Let's go ahead and lead Frostlass right now, and we'll get our hazards up, and it should be a clean win. He leads with Chandelure. I don't know if it's Scarf or not, right? Let's spike. I don't think it's Scarf though, right? Yeah, it's not Scarf. It uses Flamethrower, don't burn me. Okay. <laughs> what a prediction, huh? Okay. Now what do we do? We're in trouble. Do we win the game with Arctozolt? I mean, Azumarill, do we win the game immediately? We might win the game, right? I mean... Like... Oh, no, no, no. The Skarm has Sturdy, right? But Knockoff is a one-hit KO. There we go. So now he's really weak to... Arctovish, right? So I think we we do outspeed, right? Let's knock off here. Remove a Rocky Helmet, potentially. There we go. Body press. Not enough damage. Let's knock off again. And Zygarde does have extreme speed. So we have to be careful about that. I'm going to go to Obama Snow immediately to preserve an Aqua Jet for Chandelure in the future. Extreme speed 25. That's going to be a free Blizzard right now. It's... What item is that? It might be Choice Specs, right? That might be choice specs, right? If I had to guess. Um, in any case, we can probably sacrifice Sand Slash, right? Yeah, we can sacrifice right now. And let's go to Arctovish and spam Fish's Rend. And I think we win the game. We just hit it four times right now. He goes to Swampert. That's one. That's two. That's three. And that's four. Easy sweep right now. And we're going to wrap up the live with that right now. If you like this type of content, UU content, make sure to like and subscribe and comment down below that you do like UU content. But yeah, that's a wrap.